It's good, let me welcome you to Trinidad and Tobago. It's good to have you here. It's a one unitary state, um, Trinidad and Tobago, um, or Tobago if you're in Spanish. And, um, basically, um, it's a small island, it's just 55,000 people with 300 square, square kilometers. Um, that's, it's a small island. My name is Ramon Marx and I'm advisor to the Secretary of the Division of Agriculture, Marine Affairs and the Environment, who is Honorable Hilton Sandy. The Secretary knew about the earth boxes and we thought it was a great opportunity to solve our food security problem at one level. We want to be self-sufficient in terms of food, which is what food security is all about. Um, and you'll be able to have food in the event of a hurricane, for example. How do you get back uh, to feed the people rather than wait for imports? Right? You have to be, res be able to respond to that kind of need very, very fast. So, um, so food security in terms of is making food available to all people through at all times. Right now, we import about 75% of our fruit and vegetables and the intention is to cut that in half within a year. And um, I, I'm confident we can do it. Um, the earth boxes, we're going to greenhouses, all technology um, driven because labor is a problem in Trinidad and Tobago. Louido Nursery is one of the oldest nurseries in Tobago. It's the largest nursery uh, owned, by the, um, owned and managed by the THA, Tobago House of, the, House of Assembly. Um, we've got I don't know, over 60 employees here at this nursery. And we also have a demonstration station not far from here. We propagate here all the fruits, uh, fruit trees like cocoa, um, mango, limes, all those are done here. All the vegetables, lettuce, uh, tomatoes, all those are done here and they're sold throughout the island to farmers. Here we had planned to do 600, but based on the spacing configuration, we can do three to 400. Right? And that's quite enough. It's basically to show that they can work and they are successful. This is what we want to demonstrate, that the water quality is right, that the, the environment is right, um, birds are not attacking the plants and things like this. And, um, we, and how, the, how well are they standing up here, like, just like in, in Florida. You pull, you pull. The, the, the advantage about the earth box is that it starts even at the primary schools from the time the child is five and six, which is where we are focusing on to, to move more people into farming because the average age of our farmers are now 55, now 55, which is way too high. We need to cut that down and bring in more young farmers. And the younger farmers are coming to adapt new technologies and so on. And the beautiful thing about the earth box is that you don't need to weed, you don't need to, your soil doesn't make any difference because the, the medium in which you're planting could last five years, right? Um, and you just, you know, it's very simple to, to, uh, to, to use. And, so, um, um, and I, I think it's going to be a winner. Um, I have no doubt about it. Throughout the Caribbean, I know you got a, we have got a winner here. The water is coming from a river here, and um, I just spoke to Wasser, the water authority, with regard to testing the water for um, salts and things like this, and the purity of the water. The water cup is pumped from here, and it goes to a tank, and then from the tank it goes to a gravity down to the lines and the laterals. We're now setting that up in the irrigation system for the 300 boxes. Today we'll be planting mostly tomatoes, right? Two varieties of tomatoes, the large big boy tomatoes and the, and the plum tomatoes. We'd also be doing um, cauliflower. We'll be doing some peppers, hot pepper and sweet peppers or bell peppers. Um, about six different crops we'll be doing testing here. Tomorrow we've got the farmers and extension staff here. They'll be seeing the demonstration regarding to how to lay down the boxes. The food is here, the nutrients is here, the water is here, the air is here. So the plant doesn't have to expend energy. It doesn't have to go looking for the ions because they can only take this fertilizer in, in food with a liquid form. And, it, and as you saw, we have a gradient, and the gradient will come this way. My name is Terence Bedo. I am a retired agronomist with the Food and Agricultural Organization. I'm working on this project, um, demonstrating to the nurserymen at the Louisdor Demonstration Station in Tobago the, the concept and the utilization of the earth box. 
And to get it going, I work on both ends and the ends are opposite. The ends. So I put here and I start by doing this. So we know the process of a pan, and this is the way. Okay? Um, in fact, the staff here is already ahead of that. The staff here have done very well. Um, they have learned very well with regard to, and we can use these officers here as to teach the schools how to set up the boxes. They catch very fast and I'm, I'm really, really impressed with the workers here. Where we want to go from here, this is what we're doing now here at Louis Dow Nursery, is testing 300 boxes. From here, um, we know it's going to be successful. We are confident it's going to be successful. From here, we go on to the schools. We go on to the, to the, the Kendall Farm School and, and take note of about 30, 30 primary schools throughout Tobago. We move into Trinidad and also the same thing would happen in Trinidad. The demand is going to be there. People want their food and the prices we pay in Tobago is much higher than Trinidad. It's about 40 to 50 percent higher that we pay in Tobago for foods that are mostly imported from Trinidad. So here people will be eating clean, healthy food, grown in their own homes. It doesn't make any difference what kind of soil you have because you can grow in your veranda and, um, and you do it at home.